What is up guys, Wep here bringing you another Iron Man Progress video and as you saw in the last episode we went ahead and completed Dream Mentor and also completed, uh, well obviously Lunar Diplomacy, 85 Combat. I did that like literally completely backwards, I'm pretty good at commentating. Anyway, just uh, stocking up on some Wizard Mind Bombs so that I can use Super Glass Make, but I never knew this, those of you who are buying them one at a time, buy them here, like look how fast they come back. Uh, I did not know that you could buy them here, and uh, yeah, you learn something new every day when you're playing on an Iron Man. You know, you look stuff up, and then I like, you know, I'm on Lunars, so I'm like, ah, I don't want to go all the way to Falador. Anywhere else sells it? No, this place. They sell, they sell a ton of them, so yeah, definitely come here for your wizard mind bomb needs. Alright guys, well, there you have it. Uh, this is actually really quick. Made most of the molten glass. I still have some seaweed and soda ash left over that I might use. Uh, in the future, but yeah, a lot of molten glass. Uh, I did the math, and I'm gonna need to make about 700 of those into uh, battle staffs if I want to get 70 crafting. I might just make more molten glass to get to 70 crafting instead. Um, that way, I can do it the more efficient way. But anyway, uh, either way, until then, I am gonna need to do some Slayer rack up some points so I can make Slayer rings once I unlock the ability to do that. Anyway, so uh, my task is Dagoniths, Dagonoths, whatever the hell you want to call them. And uh, I don't really know how I should be doing this because I might just get completely destroyed when I go in there. I'm not too sure. I'll have to see. So uh, let's let's go ahead and YOLO it. Yo, we, we got 62 Slayer. Uh, I don't know what that noise was. 62 Slayer and we also got 69 attack on this episode. On this episode? On this task. Whew, I cannot commentate ever. But anyway, uh, this task is actually really easily easy. This task is really easy. I can speak English. Okay, if you come to this corner, it's easy. Gosh. Alrighty guys, we'll finish that task. Got a medium clue scroll and uh, 70 HP, so that's pretty sweet. Let's get another task. Trolls, pretty good. I might kill the ones on... It's not... Probably not, though. They'll probably completely destroy me. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this clue and uh, get, get myself some nice ranger boots. All right, there's a Narcos Lament uh, completed. They just say you should probably have it completed for uh, My Arms Big Adventure, which I'm going to go ahead and do next. I just figured I'd get on the quest and grind. Uh, now that I am 85 combat, not having Barrow's Claws is just, like, pathetic. So, uh, yeah, let's let's keep doing these quests. Okay guys, so, I just found a gout tuber. You need to get 60% uh, favor with this thing to uh, to do My Arms Big Adventure, and I got a gout tuber, like 14% in. That is amazing. In case you guys didn't know, for uh, the, I think it is the Karamja Medium Diaries, you have to exchange a gout tuber with uh, this dude over here to get a red topaz machete. And I can now do that. So as long as I don't accidentally eat it, I should be good to go. So that is amazing. I'm actually going to go do that right now. That'll help with getting this done a lot faster. So guys, I have a pretty interesting story here. Uh, I went downstairs. Basically, I'm watching my dog. Uh, she's still a puppy, so, you know, I got to keep an eye on her. Nobody's here. So I was just doing some AFK, you know, fletching. And I looked at my nature runes. So I said, oh, nature runes, nature runes. So I said, oh yeah, uh, I need to get some nature runes. I didn't feel like crafting because I was watching the dog and I needed to do something kind of AFK. And uh, so I looked it up. Turoths, you know, they can drop nature runes. I killed one and got a clue scroll. And then I killed, I left right after I killed it. I killed 11. 11 Turoths and I got my leaf bladed sword. So that is amazing. I'm not gonna have to camp those whatsoever. And I now have a good stab weapon to use on Slayer tasks. So yeah, that kind of just happened right right before I did this quest. So that's awesome. Okay, before the quest uh, goes on, just really quickly, I felt like I should upgrade my Ivan staff. It has 2,500 charges now. Uh, apparently this boss is really annoying, and Ivan's Blast is one of the best ways to deal with it. So um, yeah, I, I figured I might as well get this out of the way. I'm probably going to be using it a lot for Barrows anyway, so definitely a worthwhile investment. 
Dude, my guy looks stoned as hell right now. Anyway, uh, here is the final fight of this. I'm gonna probably just keep the recorder up, speed up the clip, see how this fight goes. Supposedly it is pretty hard. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. All right, there we go. There is the boss finished. Got weed is done. I think I am supposed to pick it. No. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Okay, there it is. I have tolerated my arm's big adventure. Not a bad quest overall. 61 herb lore. It's nice. Anyway, uh, yeah. So that gives me another farming patch. And now I have six patches. I think that's as many as there are in old school. So that is going to definitely help out with my farm runs. Plus, you know, that patch can't get diseased. And all that, so yeah, uh, on to the next quest, whatever I decide to do. Well guys, I have decided that just after getting Edgar's Roots completed, you know, it helps with my herb runs, I decided I'm also going to try to get my Lumbridge Medium Diaries done. Uh, now the only requirement that I actually have is a Mithril Grapple, which I do not have, as you can see. No Mithril Grapple, and I cannot make one until 59 smithing, so instead of getting my smithing up, up uh, apparently Angry Barbarian Spirits, like those things in the waterfall area with the mithril dragons they can drop them pretty commonly and, and with my stats i should be able to kill them i might just use prayer and you know be fine so hopefully it won't take me too long and then i can get those done get the cabbage teleport that'll really help with my uh my runs and help me conserve glories because i keep having to use glories to drain her for my uh farming runs okay guys i uh, got the grapples so pro tip uh the wiki doesn't say this but Every single thing that isn't a dragon in there can drop a mithril grapple. The, like, skeleton things, they can drop it. The, um, uh, whatever you call it. The, yeah, just the skeletons. Like, the skeleton hero, warlord, brute, heavy, whatever. All of those can drop it. Um, I don't think that the, like, barbarians can, but the skeletons can. So keep that in mind. I might actually, like, make just a separate video on that, because I imagine a lot of Iron Men are having trouble getting mithril grapples, so... Yeah, that was uh, relatively painless. I only killed like five or so things and got it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the Lumbridge Medium Diaries. Oh, uh, so it turns out I also need an Earth Talisman to do this. So yeah, here I am in the Abyssal area killing these stupid things. And they all have really high defense and they literally don't give XP. So like, please drop one soon. If you want to know how it's going, Yeah. <sighs> that took way longer than it needed to. I have no teleport out, but that took way longer than it needed to. Oh my lord. And a medium clue scroll before I got one of those. Jesus. Okay, now let's go do the medium. Okay, well that was a lot more painful than it needed to be. But there we go. Uh, apparently this is only three teleports a day, but that's fine. It'll help. It'll speed up like a huge amount of my uh, my runs. I probably don't do more than three a day anyway, so uh, the toughest part is where to put this lamp. I'm thinking I want to start putting my lamps on prayer, because honestly, people say that herb lore is the hardest, but I do so many herb runs that I feel like prayer is probably the hardest skill for me to train right now. Uh, that is also important, so I'm going to put all my lamps on prayer. 7,500 prayer experience, that saves me a lot of time at green dragons, and uh, yeah, there we go. Got this ring out of the way, so now we can go back to questing. Um, not really sure what I want to do yet. Alright, there's 53 thieving. I can now do Desert Treasure once I finish uh, Temple of Ikov. It's the only thing I've left. Now, I was doing this. I want to see how many gems I got. 39 uncut emeralds, 51 uncut sapphires. That is amazing. That is 39 dueling rings in the bank. I would definitely recommend uh, doing this from 50 to 53. If you are an Iron Man, that is definitely worth doing. Um, and now I guess I'm gonna probably do Desert Treasure, potentially. Okay guys, there's Temple of Ikov completed, that might have gotten me a level, nope. Really close to a level. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and do Desert Treasure, I guess, uh, get the preparations out of the way. He responds? What does he say? <laughs> he just doesn't acknowledge my existence. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do Desert Treasure, um, yeah, I'll probably record all the bosses and speed it up, that's about it. Hardest quest in the game, am I right? Alrighty guys, there it is. That was actually very smooth, very simple. 
this quest is extremely overhyped in terms of like how difficult it is. It takes a while, uh, the fights are pretty awesome and epic and cool, but other than that, it's pretty simple. I think that got me a magic level. Yes, 77 magic, so now I don't have to boost in order to use Supreme Less Make, but yeah, now I have access to ancient magics. Not gonna be too useful right now, but I will be able to put a Carol Portal in my house, which is amazing, because right now I'm using the uh, fairy ring to get there, so there it is. Big quest out of the way, last like big quest that I have to do before I can do Recipe for Disasters, so probably gonna work on finishing that, getting my Barrow's Gloves next episode, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the progress, and I will see you later. Peace.